Good morning to all of you. Two years ago, the Paris Conference of Parties exposed what the planet and society had been demanding for years, and a principle towards which some organizations have been working for years. If there is to be growth, it absolutely must be sustainable. In contrast to the linear economy based on using and throwing away, the world is calling for a circular economy, based on the careful production of goods and services, responsible consumption, waste and water reduction, and energy efficiency. And the challenge is not easy. This is why I would like to start by congratulating the European Commission for its decisive commitment to the circular economy through the regulatory proposal it is developing and it, uh, the ambition plan uh, accompanying them. In this regard, I would like to convey to the Commission my most sincere congratulations for receiving the well-deserved Global Climate Action Entreps Award. I would also like to take the opportunity, this opportunity, to enthusiastically greet, also from the distance, the 51 countries participating in this fourth edition of these awards. Ecoembes, a company that I am representing, is a non-profit environmental organization that for 20 years has been contributing to the circular economy, assisting packaging companies to minimize the environmental impact of their packaging and waste through eco-design and recycling. We do so by operating under the principle of extended producer responsibility, a model that constitutes, uh, constitutes a response to the demands, both legal and environmental, of those companies that place packaged products on the market, in our case more than 12,000 companies, and that take their responsibility for the costs entailed by the collection, selection and recycling of their packaging at the end of its life cycle. They do so by via payment of the green dot for all the packaging they market. This is a model that is found in practically all the countries of the EU, established for decades, decades and that has been proven reliable. Also, I want to include that the recently uh, circular economy package include the, this extended producer responsibility as the right tool to achieve the real targets that we have in front for this e circular economy. At Ecoembes, we implement this model via three fundamental pillars that in 2016 allowed us to recycle 76% of all domestic packaging affiliated with Ecoembes, a figure amounting to 1.3 million tons, surpassing the current requirements of the European Union, but that we would like to increase even further. Up to 80% by the year 2020, exceeding the 75 percentage proposed in the European Commission Circular Economy Action Plan for 2030. The first of these pillars is collaboration. We represent one of the best examples of public-private collaboration in Spain, and in the end it is local entities that manage the domestic waste service through the bins installed on public streets for this purpose. Side by side, we work with them, so that packaging, waste recycling, service and socially, technically, environmentally and economically efficient. For this reason, we collaborate in the development of optimum curbside collections models, the design and automation of selection plans, models covering ordinance and specification, the tracking of, collection, of collection and selection operation, and a long, long, etc. This collaboration does not just include, but actually begins with the most important link in recycling circular chain, citizens, for whom we promote awareness and education programs, the second great pillar we will to carry out our work. We strive for environmental education to receive the attention it deserves in the educational systems, working with great private schools, high schools, university, parents, teachers, etc. In short, with the entire Spanish educational community to, to take environmental issues into classrooms. With our citizens, daily efforts separated their ways at the source behind which there is an admirable degree of environmental awareness, all our efforts will be in vain. One of our most ambitious projects is to make sustainability education a compulsory part of school curriculums 
a project that we will begin implementing on a pilot by basis in September of this year, 2018. In addition to collaboration and awareness innovation in our strategies, third pillar. At the Coembes, we are working to apply new technologies throughout the waste management process. An example of this vision is our The Circular Lab, the Europe's first circular economy research center located in the city of Logroño in Spain. There, in the Circular Lab, thanks to technology, the IoT, big data, artificial vision, dronics, robotics, eco innovation advances, and industry 4.0 and entrepreneurship, we are already develop, developing both the packaging of the future and the recycling society of tomorrow, to which we contribute through the creation of green and sustainable jobs with a future. Because, because without innovation there cannot be pro pro progress. And the circular economy is where we must move forward. We are passionate about the circular economy because we are a great representative of the circular economy. We are well aware the linear growth, the prevailing model to the present day, particularly during the post-war era, represents a form of growth to undoubtedly generated economic and human development in our society, but is one for which our planet has had to pay an important price and done significant environmental damage. One of its effects is, without any doubt, climate change we must be addressed immediately and decisively. We have the great privilege of being part of a region of the world that is embracing this new vision and along with it, the challenges it brings. Europe is a region of the planet where in just a few decades we will boast a decarbonized cleaner economy where just 10% of the waste will end up in landfills. Someone said, that the future belongs to those who design it. In my humble opinion, Europe is envisioning and sketching a future of social and environmental progress based on a new, more innovative and more competitive economy. Thank you very much and congratulations.